Good morning, church. Emmanuel. Uh, my name is Mr. Tladi. I'm here this morning to give God the glory and the honor. God once more visited my family. Emmanuel. Uh, out, my testimony is as follows. Out of my two daughters, the younger one, after completing the tertiary last year, she was blessed with the internship of six months in Qatar. I think it was one or two months before the World Cup started that site. Uh, due to the course she was doing of food and beverage. Uh, when she completed her tertiary this year at the end of March, she came back to South Africa for graduation. Hallelujah. After graduation, she was called back for another six months again in Qatar. When she arrived at site, she got sick and uh, I reported to Daddy, and Daddy said, no, don't worry, she will be healed, and she will stay in Gada. Don't worry, she will work there forever. So I took the word of the prophet, as I believe, and prophet and trust in the Lord. Uh, along the line, sometimes in May, she was uh, granted a permanent job that side. Hallelujah. But you know, the devil does not rest. As our father always advises us that we must keep on praying for our children. No matter the relationship between us and our relationship, but uh, with our children, what's important, they are our blood, they are our seed. We don't give the devil the chance upon their lives. Hallelujah. And then after being appointed permanent in June, early June, she was blessed again, appointed at the same company she's working, as a PIC. I think it's a supervisor for the group that she was working with. Hallelujah. So there was a lady, there's a lady that she's working under her, but because of you know diplomatic relations and matters, I can't uh, mention the country. Because of age differences. The lady is 29 years, and my daughter, she's 21 years, she was making 21 years now, July 6. So there was a, a bit of hula baloo, there was a bit of fight between them because the woman wanted to take that position. She was not comfortable at all to be under supervision or authority of such a young little girl. Hallelujah. Uh, but by the grace of God, Church, last week I was not here, I was at work, but there was a prayer for our children. I prayed for my children when I was at work on Saturday night. I anointed myself with anointing oil. With the same anointing oil, I was blessed with this anointing oil. And that Saturday, last week Saturday, I went down on my knees. I anointed my head three times in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I anointed my back head with the name of Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit as it was instructed at the church. Hallelujah. Sunday morning when I wake up in the morning again to resume my duties, I did the same. anointed myself in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit on my forehead and at the back. People of God, because my daughter was so much crying, and I wrote all their names, all my children's names down while I was praying with the anointing oil. I was mentioning all their names one by one and I declared in the name of Jesus Christ any arrow pointing my children as I anoint myself right now standing as a point of contact for my family. Let those arrows go back to the center in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, the very same Sunday, I think it was about 19.20 hour in the evening, I received a call from my daughter from Qatar, Vanessa. She said, Daddy, 
So I miss a point. Apology for that. My daughter was called for a verbal warning because this woman she was manipulating her work at all the times. She was trying to make sure that my daughter's work is not recommended by the manager at all. So she was called for verbal warning. But now last week after all these prayers I've made for my family, for my children, in the evening she called me. She said, Dad, the same woman that was trying to manipulate my job, today she was called for a notice. Whatever she's going to do against my job, she's going to be dismissed. Hallelujah. People of God, clap your hands for Jesus Christ. What God has blessed, no man can curse. People of God, as it said in Romans 12, verse 19, Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. And indeed, God avenged his daughter. Amen? Sir, could you please explain to us, as a parent, how did you feel when uh, your daughter was being falsely accused at her workplace? Yes, I, I believe that all parents will agree with me. It, it is very difficult. And more especially considering the distance. We don't talk about the 10 kilometers. We talk about thousands and thousands of kilometers. Where such a young 21 year is away from you as a father, as a single father. So all the problems, all the troubles, all the cries and weepings, they all fall upon you as a parent. But trusting in the Lord, making God your refuge, making what God your refuge, uh, your fortress, your shield, your stronghold, nothing is impossible. People of God, clap hands for Jesus Christ. <laughs> so you mentioned that you used the, the mediums, the anointing oil. Could you please share with us what exactly motivated you to take a leap of faith and use those mediums? Uh, people of God, the testimony of the past of, in this church from those who came first and the testimonies and the work of God that has been done in my life before has encouraged me to believe and have a faith in each and every medium that we are blessed with in the church. And I believe in this month as the month of divine weight of God, each and every medium that you apply in your life for your children whatsoever, apply the weight of God on it. Believe on it. Believe in what the prophet declared in your life and trust that God has sent you. Amen. People of God, clap your hands for Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lastly, sir, could you please share with us a wonderful word of advice for people who may be facing a similar situation or may also need to be uh, stand as a representative for their family members, their friends, or anyone who might have the same trouble? Uh, this morning, I stand before the whole world. I stand before Shekinah Glory Faith Ministry. If you want to challenge me with the weight of God, if you want to challenge me with the anointing in this ministry, you are welcome 24-7. People of God, whatsoever the prophet tells you to do in this church, do it. Any kind of medium that you are blessed in this church, take it serious with faith. And the Bible says, trust in the Lord and believe in his prophets. Because these prophets, they do what God tells them to do. They don't do things on their own. So I believe in the weight of my prophet, Isaac Orona. Thank you. People of God, clap your hands for Jesus Christ. So we thank you for your wonderful testimony and we believe that indeed God will continue to bless you and your family more and more. Amen.